Hey, what's up, YouTubers? Mr. Joe back with another video, and today this is gonna be kind of a rant on the new, um, I guess, comment system on YouTube, and basically how damaging it is to the content creators. Uh, so how we get started? Uh, so I'm just gonna open up uh, my, my Mozilla Firefox. This is what I use. Um, this is just my basic, uh, you know, whatever it's called. Ah, uh, no. Ah, uh, whatever. So I go to YouTube, right? YouTube.com. What to watch? Apparently, Google thinks it knows better than me on what I want to watch uh, but whatever uh, this should this should not be the first thing I freaking this should not be the first thing I view the first thing I, the first thing I should view is my subscriptions uh, which is because I subscribe to these people actively and I want to see their next content but no uh, YouTube apparently knows better than me on what I want to watch so let's look at these I've watched all these videos already so why are you showing them to me uh, I don't want to re-watch them I've already watched them once these are news stories and news stories are meant to be watched once so I don't know why you want me to watch them multiple times uh, what is Gamertech? I like his videos. I watched all these videos. I why are you showing them to me again? Comedy Central. Okay, I watched the Key, Key and Peel Peely whatever uh, video, and apparently you want me to subscribe to them right away. No, nope, that's not gonna happen. So how about you stop recommending channels that I don't really want to subscribe to? If I wanted to subscribe to them, I would probably subscribe to them. Uh, recent videos by Philip DeFranco. This is all, these are also news stories. I've watched all of these, so why are you showing them to me again? Recent videos by Wings of Redemption. I like this guy. He makes cool videos. Uh, I've already watched all these videos, so why are, the, why are you showing them to me? Recent videos by Let's Play, watched all of them. Why are you showing them to me? Recommended for you. I am not interested in this at all. Just because I watched a video of a headphone that I kind of want, does not mean I want to check out all the headphones in the world. This, I don't even know what this freaking is. I, I go on Reddit videos and I freaking view random videos. That does not mean that I'm actively interested in them. Recent videos from BF vs GF. I've I haven't watched all of these videos, but I have watched this video. I don't know why you're showing them to me again. Popular videos on YouTube. Why is this is all the way in the bottom? It, why is it all the way in the bottom? It makes no sense. I don't know who this person is. Uh, I don't know why it's popular. Uh, these these videos don't look very popular. There's 8,000 views. That's pretty that's pretty low on the popular scale for YouTube videos. This video is pro popular. This video is not. Uh, okay commented stuff okay this is all the way in the bottom this should not be in here on what to watch I don't want to watch a video that someone apparently they commented on oh, I don't know it's confusing okay this is my subscription right first of all these subscription boxes are broken uh, when you upload a video sometimes the video doesn't get up here there's like a uh, there's like an 80% chance the video will get up here and the 20% chance it's just gonna freaking randomly float around float around on the internet uh, okay so these are uh, subscriptions that I've subscribed to uh, Okay, this is normal. It's really freaking annoying. I have to this is so freaking have so much scrolling. What if one channel uploads a lot of videos? Like Rooster Teeth and Machinima, they upload a lot of videos, and it just floods in and it removes the other and it removes the other people's uh, videos. Like SourceFed, Machinima is just like taken over here, and I can't see SourceFed videos. Uh, it was so much more effective when it was going horizontal. One channel with the most videos uploaded during that time would have like a line of videos that you could watch. That was so freaking effective. Why did you have to change that? It makes no sense. This is the most recent video ever uploaded. What if I freaking missed a really cool series I like and it's all the way freaking down here. It's just freaking annoying and I might not get to their video because freaking I might run out of time or something. It, it would just be so much more freaking effective if it was horizontal. I don't know why this thing is here. It's freaking annoying. Okay, uh, now let's say I freaking want to look at my um, comments, my replies to my comments, the comments that people post on my videos, and maybe someone needs some help with, uh, with uh, you know, with something on in Sony Vegas or something. I click on here. Where is my inbox? This, is, this has actually been like this for a really long time. Uh, apparently, I have to go to Video Manager to go to my inbox. It makes no sense why I have to go there, but I do have to go there. So Video Manager. And then inbox. Okay, well, it's an inbox. The inbox is really well done, but hold on. What? Really? Most comment notifications will now show now be delivered by Google Plus and not your inbox. Why do you want to remove the inbox? It's so neat and effective. Why do you want to remove it? Look, you see this? This person right here, I can't use smoke, but I want it to show quick time error. I don't know, someone might help them, but honestly, I do not know the solution to that problem. Uh, okay, fine, but now when I get a comment, there's a little red sign that comes up here, so I click it, and then all of this stuff pops up. 
These people, Google Plus notification added you to their circles. Okay, thanks for adding me to your circle, but I'm really interested in the comments that I have, which really give me feedback on my videos, which is freaking what I do, and it's really important to me. So, apparently that's underneath, because that's really important. Uh, this is previously read, so uh, let's look at these. I commented on this video right here, okay, for example, click this. Well, um, all this comes up. Uh, Mr. Jovel commented on a video YouTube shared publicly yesterday, 4.54 p.m. How do I reply in the new comment system on this video right here? Okay, this person is the most latest comment that they, the most latest comment. Okay, whatever, reply button blade. Okay, uh, I click this, right? I'm gonna view the other comments because maybe I haven't gotten to them. I click this. It takes me to the oldest freaking comment. What? Why? All the other comments are set to latest. And then you take me to the oldest and down is the freaking latest. It's backwards. Why is it backwards? It should be freaking the same as everything else on your site. But no, of course not. Because apparently it's too difficult for them to do that. Even though they freaking changed everything else. Okay, well, fine. This is really bothersome. But okay, fine. I'll, this is okay. Now, let's say, let's say I want to reply to someone, right? Someone needs help. I know the solution to their problem. I want to reply to them. Okay, click this. Go to video manager. This is my latest video right here, how to render fraps and DX Tori files, best quality in Sony Vegas. I click this, a commercial is going to play, I'm going to pause it. Okay, thanks, um, someone's playing and hey, just wondering, could you, okay, I want to tell them that I'm working on it. How do I reply to them? Oh wait, I cannot reply to them because apparently, wait, hold on, yeah, I cannot reply to them. <laughs> apparently, because you want to know why? Because this person doesn't have a Google Plus account. Lizard Gaming doesn't have a Google Plus account. Why can I not reply to him or her? I don't know. Apparently, I can't reply to them because they do not, they do not have Google Plus, which is really stupid. Okay, look, at, I can't reply to anyone here because they do not have a Google Plus. So, do you want every single YouTuber to have a Google Plus account? I think you do, and I think you want that to happen because your freaking social media site is failing because it's not very effective. Look, at, I'm gonna take you guys to Google Plus right now. This right here, this is my Google Plus for this account. Bam. Uh, now, I don't even know the layout because I don't freaking use Google Plus because I don't want to. I don't even use Facebook, so I don't know why I would use this. But apparently, uh, I don't know if it goes like this or this. Hold on. It goes it goes like... I don't even know how it freaking goes. I don't know the pattern. Does it go in a zigzag? Does it go straight down? If it goes in a zigzag, there's a really bad freaking method to uh, freaking implement that. Look, at, why is it going in a zigzag? This is so dumb. Why would you think this is effective? They're not even lined up correctly. Oh my god. Anyways, guys, I think that's pretty much all. YouTube, someone needs to start a petition or something because YouTube is going to the freaking garbage. Uh, it's really unaffected. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed my video. And if you did, uh, you know, comment below. But hey, I might not be able to reply to you if you don't have a Google Plus account. So yeah, I'm freaking making me say that now. Google, good job. Google Plus, get one if you want me to reply to your comments. It's so stupid. Anyways, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you did, uh, just comment below, whatever, like the video so it spreads or something. Okay, thank you for watching, and goodbye. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much all.